also found out the gender. I gagged because of the smell of the fridge. But this pregnancy has just gotten me. And every pregnancy I've been cold. I have like a bladder of steel, and so typically I don't, like I can hold it for a while. <laughs> so my nausea got worse in week 13. So it's one of the days or what? Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. <laughs> she wants me to blow a bubble. Here you go. Last one, okay? <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Sierra. At the Robinson Home, I have this huge chunk of bubble, bubble gum in my mouth. I take this out really fast. I done. I done. Uh. If you're new here, I'm Sierra here at the Robinson Home. Welcome to our channel. We have four girls ranging from age six down to age one. And we are currently pregnant with baby number five. We haven't announced a gender yet, but we will really soon. Um, today I'm doing a pregnancy update from weeks nine to week 13. I'm currently 15 weeks today. So you wanna get down there? So after this video, the gender reveal will be posted and us, um, our reactions and the girls' reactions. Um, and telling family and then um, I'll post my 14 and 15 week update. If you like these types of videos, please hit subscribe and become part of our family here on YouTube and hit the like button. Let me know in the comments if there are any questions that you have about my pregnancies or this specific pregnancy. Ah, my tongue, my mouth's a little bit blue. That's okay. <laughs> okay, let's just get started. Okay, in week nine, I think that was right around Christmas time. Uh, or the day after, or yeah, the day after Christmas, I think I turned nine weeks. I loved scents. Like I've been loving like smells, good smells. Um, there was this beeswax, uh, like eucalyptus or mint um, chapstick that Brett bought. And I was like, oh my gosh, like loving it. I thought it was obviously so good. And I was also, we had really, really stressful travel. If you've seen the video before this, we went to Idaho right after Christmas time and our flight got canceled. You okay? Our flight got canceled when like 80% of the flights were getting canceled in the US. And so we travel, we had to drive. Anyways, it was just crazy. It was crazy. And so it was really stressful driving. I was also really emotional, which comes with pregnancy. <laughs> you know, you're already pretty emotional um, when you're pregnant. Hi, Dada. Uh, hi, Dada. <laughs> I was also really cold. I despised the cold in Idaho. It was so hard for me. And I'm like, I've loved cold in the past, like cold weather. I totally preferred over hot weather, but this pregnancy has just gotten me. And every pregnancy I've been cold, all my other kids, but this one specifically has just been like, I've been really cold. Um, right before we left, we had been cleaning a ton. I was getting up and down, you know, like standing up, sitting down, standing up, sitting down. And it really hurt my body, especially my like sciatica pain. That was um, also really rough. Okay, let's get into week 10. In week 10, so we were in Idaho. Uh, my morning sickness was picking up a little bit. This is when, like, I didn't, I had, like, some morning sickness before this. Um, but not, not an intense amount. But in week 10, when we were staying with my parents, I noticed the morning sickness really picking up. And so, um, but then everyone there got sick with a stomach bug. And that was terrible. May threw up and Ren threw up, I think. Lottie did. I don't know if May actually threw up. I think that Ren and Lottie did. Anyways, I got, we all got like, I had some like, I was sick to my stomach, but I was like, but I didn't get sick enough to throw up, but it was, it was awful. It was so bad. It was nice being with my family, but we got like this cold and we got the stomach flu, which was terrible. As I mentioned with the morning sickness, it was like all day and like even like an hour and hour or two after eating, I would start to feel sick again. Um, with morning sickness, I feel like you, at least for me, I'll feel sicker if I'm really hungry or sometimes, or even if like I eat, right after I eat, I'll feel sick. So it was just like constant all day type of a thing. I was also beyond tired. I was so tired. One night I stayed up super late. Uh, that might've been my ninth week, but we stayed up really late um, talking to my brother and sister and um the next night i was like i couldn't even like i was like laying on this little poof on the ground and just fell asleep anyways i was just so tired i've been really exhausted i also have four other kids to take care of um but i've been extremely extremely exhausted <laughs> this pregnancy 
my brother took me out for um, lunch and if you know me you know that I'm not really a soup person but it's so funny because I ordered soup with my sandwich at Neater's um, and like it sounded really good to me so that was a weird pregnant like not that I was like craving it but I was like oh yeah that sounds good it's funny the different things this pregnancy especially that I've been like okay yeah like that food sounds good to me because soup is not one of those things that I'd ever order typically and I did this time so that was a funny little perk of um of this this week I also lost about four pounds this week I don't know if it was a that week or from the last time that I'd weighed myself, but when I was at my parents' house, I weighed myself and I had lost about four pounds. Um, me and my mom had been getting smoothie bowls every day. That was really fun. Um, um, and then also in the 10th week, we got home. I was still despising the cold. I was still freezing, but we got home and that was really nice to just be home because we left the day after Christmas to my parents. And so it was nice to come home and to just be there, uh, be at our own house. And so that, is my 10th week. Let's get into week 11. In week 11, I was emotional. I was like, like actually like crying that type of an emotional. <laughs> I also was still experiencing morning sickness and it was worse. Um, it was day and night and I've experienced that quite a bit that if I have to wake up during the night with one of the girls, I have been nauseous during the night, which isn't as typical with my other pregnancies that I've had. So um, I've been, yeah, so I've been in the 11th week, I was I was not feeling good. I wrote down that my leg was aching. I've talked about this a little bit. I have nerve issues and and um, I don't know if it's restless leg syndrome or what. Hello. But I had, hello, but I had restless, I had um, an ache, my leg was achy. Um, and also, so towards the end, uh, later in the 11th week, I, or I don't know if it was one of the days or what, hello. <laughs> um, my morning sickness was lessening a little bit, which is funny because I had been getting sick or sicker. Um, so that was funny. And then one night it was so funny because I was like, oh, I just want Oreos in a bowl with milk. I grew up with that, like having like cereal or Reese's cups in a bowl with milk. I don't think I end, even ended up having that, but I noted it down that I like wanted that. It sounded really good to me, which is just funny. Okay. In week 12, the sickness was still bad. <laughs> um, I was sick and I was having aversions to food, um, which is tip pretty typical. I got to turn up this air. Yes, baby. Do you want to come up here? Yeah. Come on. Climb down, okay? Ah! Ah! I was I was sick and experiencing aversions. Um, I also my leg was aching again in the twelfth week. This wasn't like constant, but I noticed I noticed it one day or night, um, which is really unfortunate. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my gosh. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. I was really emotional <laughs> and also my bladder, like if I, I had to pee a ton and if I did, if I didn't and I had a full bladder, it was like painful. <laughs> this is the first time that I feel like my, um, my bladder or like, like I feel like a pregnant woman having to pee. Like every pregnancy has gotten worse, you know, where they're like, oh, I just, you know, pregnant women have to pee all the time. This is the first pregnancy where it's been like extreme, like how people talk about with normal pregnancies. I have like a bladder of steel. And so typically I don't, like I can hold it for a while, but this pregnancy, it's like, especially that week I wrote that if I didn't go when I needed to go, it was like painful. I was also really emotional. I was, I wrote down that I felt like I was hit by a bus. I was just like, my body was just fatigued. I was just exhausted. And then we also did not find out the gender. So I didn't note in here that we went to, I don't know if this was at the end of the 12th week. I think it was the end of the 12th week. Yeah, so on Saturday, um, the end of the 12th week, uh, two days before I turned 13 weeks, we went to a ultrasound place and they took my blood and they were supposed to send in, like, no, I went there on Friday, Thursday. I think it was Thursday. I was supposed to find out on Friday let me think. No, Friday. I was supposed to find out on Saturday. Saturday, I didn't find out. Sunday, I was like, okay, I'm not going to find out Sunday. Monday, I was like, okay, this is going to be the day. They emailed me. They're like, oh, long story short, I didn't find out until Wednesday. That was really, really, like really frustrating actually because I was really positive that I was going to find out and I was really excited too. Um, yeah, so that was like a sad ending to week 13. I was also peeing in the middle of the night, which is just so not like obviously going to the bathroom and peeing, which it's not typically a thing that I've had to do in pregnancy. Like I was saying, like my bladder is really strong, but this time it's 
Um, I have not been as strong. I don't know if my bladder is weaker or if this baby, I do know the baby is actually sitting pretty low. That's what the doctor told me. And so I don't know, or it's just that it's a fifth baby. I'm not sure, but, um, but yeah, that was a difference um, with this pregnancy. Let's get into week 13. Week 13, the first thing I wrote down is intense nausea. So my nausea got worse in week 13, which is funny because I feel like a lot of people coming up to week 12, uh, 12, 13, like by the end of the first trimester, it's going away. Week 13 was intense. I gagged because of the smell of the fridge. Um, I don't, I think it was actually last week that I gagged because I was coughing. But yeah, I, it was intense, intense nausea. <laughs> Nothing, I didn't throw up, but this, I was telling my sister-in-law a few minutes ago that like with my previous pregnancies, um, it was like my nausea was like, bad but then it would be like really bad and I would like get into like fetal position <laughs> and then it would be just but this time it's just like kind of felt just constant the nausea is and so that's a bummer <laughs> okay I also gagged because so not the coughing was last week but there was a hair in my mouth I think that maybe like my my longer hairs I had breathed in it like touched the back of my throat no no it was like actually a hair in my mouth I'm pretty sure and I gagged so my gag reflex is a lot worse than it had been <laughs> um than, than it has been in the past okay so we also found out the gender i was emotional about it i will talk more about that in the um gender reveal video you'll see my reaction and and everything so um and we also told um our families and so that was fun that'll also be in the gender reveal video we told the girls it was really cute so make sure to um be ready to check that out as soon as that posts i was also loving sweet smells continue still and I was eating semi-sweet chocolate chip ice cream or chocolate I think that's what it is called semi-sweet chocolate chip ice cream every night <laughs> that was like my constant I was like okay I'll have ice cream tonight I also had restless legs um like I had said but especially at night and I also felt like I could barely eat this was week 13 so still I was still nauseous felt like I could not eat I could barely eat food, which was a struggle. The last thing in week 13 is, uh, that I wrote down is that this was the worst my, my nausea had been the entire pregnancy. And that the thing that helped with morning sickness is water. I, you know, if there were times when I was really, really sick, I'd be like, I just needed, I need to drink a sip of water right now. Um, so, so that is how week 13 was. I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are weeks nine through 13. My next update, yep will be weeks 14 and 15 getting into the second trimester so this is the end of the first trimester updates um if you if you'd like me to do any videos that i haven't done yet or that you'd like me to do throughout my pregnancy let me know in the comments below i um yeah it's it's crazy i'm already in the second trimester i'm glad that i have this update done subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye say bye bye look Say bye-bye. <laughs>